guys, it's me, Emily, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to 2018. I hope everybody had an amazing new year, ready to start 2018 off with a bang. Um, for today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about the products that I have absolutely fallen in love with in 2017. Uh, they are not necessarily products that came out in 2017. They are just the ones that I started using. Um, I'm sure some of them came out years before that, and I am just super late to the game, but that is okay. I am fine with that. So let's just jump right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is this little beauty right here. You've heard me talk about it before in other videos. This is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Collaboration Eyeshadow Palette. Which looks like this. Absolutely beautiful. I love this palette because I literally take it everywhere with me because it has so many different or such a big range in colors and shades. It has mattes, it has shimmers, it's got warm tones and cool tones. It's got those really bright pops of color for when you're feeling really daring. But if you want to go super neutral, it has all the brown warm shades that you could use. And I love this palette. It is a little big, but you know what? It fits in a carry-on and that's all I care about. Next is another shadow palette. This is the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. I've actually just started using this, but I'm literally in love with it. I love this color range. It's so versatile, it's so different. And even just like the packaging on it, I mean, it's incredible. And I've done a couple looks with this one before. The black is like super midnight black. The shimmer shades, like all these glitter shades here go on super nicely. It's really like a creamy pigment to it, which I really like. But overall, it's just an absolutely beautiful palette. I think this one I got at Sephora. It is a little pricey, but again, you're getting, I don't know how many shades, but you're getting a lot for a good price. So I have absolutely love this and it will be in 2018 with me. So I am a eyeshadow palette junkie. I don't know how many I have, but it is no surprise that I'm showing you guys two more. These are some recent favorites. This is the Storybook Cosmetics um, Mean Girls and Harry Potter um, eyeshadow palettes. They're absolutely beautiful. I've shown you guys this one before, I think in a previous video, because I used it for an eye look. I'll show you again real quick. And that is what it looks like. Really pretty colors. Especially this green shade here. I'm really excited to use that one. And then this is a Wizardly and Witchcraft palette. Looks like this. Super pretty. This red shade's really pretty, and this green one too. And I will link the site down below again. I think their stuff is just so cool and it brings a whole new level of creativity to makeup palettes so that they're not just the same thing over and over again. It kind of has a little bit of everything and a whole and a big fantasy twist to it, which is what I love. And next are a few different highlighters. This is the Pixie Glowy Powder in London Luster. I've used this one before on my channel when I first was starting off. I think I bought this at Target. Really inexpensive, so it's a drugstore brand. Just looks like this. Can't really see, but it's super subtle. I'm actually wearing it on me today. Really love it. It gives a subtle glow, but it's not like chocolatey or flaky, and it doesn't have too much, like too many specks in it, so that it looks kind of patchy on you. It actually looks really perfect. This is my Chanel highlighter. Looks like this. I bought it at Chanel, I think, for about $38. It's super pretty. Do actually a really quick swatch of it. You can see just that reflective on it. It's super pretty. I absolutely love it. You get a lot for a good price. And it is a liquid instead of a powder. And the other one is by Dose of Colors. It's the Desi X Katie collection. 
It looks like this. This is in the shade Fuego. It's super pretty. It's really a subtle color to it. But I think it gives off a lot. So this is the Chanel, and this is Fuego. So it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's so pretty, it's so subtle. I love the packaging on it too. It's like a girl's best friend. So I haven't tried out too many mascaras this year because once I find one, I kind of am like stuck in that little bubble. But I have been using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is the sample size. But I absolutely love it, and I'm wearing it today. But the brush is super thick like this. The only downside is with like sample sizes like this is that you get so much product on the brush and then when you're like putting it on, you have to keep wiping off the excess on it. But it makes your lashes super thick and it makes you almost look like you're wearing falsies even when you're not. And then for my bottom lashes, this is the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. And I have used this several times in my videos. The brush is tiny so it's perfect for the bottom lash line. And what I love about these is it doesn't make your lashes look, or it doesn't leave like clumpiness on your lashes, it really fans them out which is perfect for me. Now we have all heard about this concealer. Everybody uses it, everybody raves about it, and I am no exception. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is probably one of the favorites among the beauty community right now, so I'm sure you've probably heard of it, so I won't go into too much detail, but I love it because it does not crease under the eyes. It gives you full coverage, it gives it's like perfect for like spot treatments, which is mostly what I use it for because I have a lot of acne scars. But, so I try and get one that's closest to my skin tone, and then I have another one that's actually lighter shade for under the eyes. But it is one of my favorites, and I will probably continue using it until I find something better. So I am super picky about the lipsticks that I wear, because I have such dry lips, especially in the winter. So I found a couple that actually really work for me. This is the Marc Jacobs um, in Taboo. It's enamored. It's super pretty. Just looks like this. It's a lip gloss instead of a like a liquid lipstick. And I love wearing this either just by itself or I'll wear it over the top of something. Especially this one. This is the Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick. The Vice Liquid Lipstick in 1993, which I was three years old. Um, I love this lipstick. It is long lasting, it will last me all night and I do not have to reply, reapply, even after like eating or drinking. However, it is very drying to my lips, which I do not like, so I put this one over the top of it and it like makes the perfect combination because this isn't too sticky, so it sits well on my lips but it doesn't like get everywhere and make a mess on everything. Those are really the only two that I've absolutely fallen in love with this year. What I'm wearing today, I am actually tried for the first time, but I bought it in 2017, so you know, it still counts. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Sad Girl, and I really love this color. It's like a super deep plum or cranberry color. It's probably gonna be in my favorites for the end of next year. I also have the Vice Liquid Lipstick in Trap Queen. I've worn this a couple times. I haven't had like a huge, um, I haven't had a lot of time to wear it. That's what I was looking for. Um, but I really do love the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipsticks. Even though they can be a little bit, a little bit drying at times, I feel like, you know, you gotta take what you can get. If you wear something over the top of it, it looks perfect. And I'm totally okay with that. So my next few products are not necessarily makeup related, they're more hair care. Um, I've been going through a lot of changes with my hair this year. I've been dyeing it. I dyed it blonde earlier this fall, so I really had to find something that worked well with my hair. 
um, because of how drying and damaging it was getting to be. So I found these products. These are the Whole Blends hair care products. This is the Honey Treasures, which strengthens and damages. This is the conditioner. I do not use the shampoo in this one um, because I use this one. This is the um, argan oil and cranberry extracts, which protects colors and reveals radiance. I use the shampoo and conditioner with this one, but when I'm only conditioning my hair, I go with the strengthening and damaging. And I really, really love these products. I think I got them at like CVS or Walgreens. Super inexpensive, but they have helped heal my hair so much from dyeing it blonde, or highlighting it blonde, I should say. Um, it really does work, and I'm, I've had such a hard time trying to find the perfect products for my hair, because it seems like nothing really works well. Um, and I also use this whole blends. It is also the um, Honey Treasures. This is the hair mask. So what I'll do is I'll wash my hair with just shampoo, and then I'll put this on when I get out of the shower. And it says to leave it on for like 10 minutes or so. Three minutes, so three minutes. But I will leave it on for like an hour because I feel like with as much hair that I have and as much damage that I've done to it, the longer the better. This. This lotion is absolutely amazing. This is the Kapari Coconut Buttermilk. Um, sulfite food free, cruelty free, vegan, all that good stuff. Um, it's a, this quick absorb coconut body lotion gets under your skin to keep it silky soft all day and it is not lying. I think I use this every day in the summer. It literally smells like a beach. Um, it's absolutely amazing. It helps heal my dry skin and I continue using it in the winter because you know that's when you get our the most dry. It's perfect for me. It does not leave like that oily residue. It literally sinks into your skin and helps heal all the dryness, but it does not like create that over oiliness that a lot of lotions do. And I still have like a good size left and I think I bought it back in like April or May. It is probably one of my favorites and I will be repurchasing. So for the last couple years I have been using the Neutrogena makeup wipes. I think they're a big staple. I think everybody uses them. However, lately I have been using this. This is the L'Oreal Micellar Cleansing Water. It works probably better than my makeup removing wipes. It does not leave like that oiliness to your skin like the wipes do. Although it's not a big deal because I mean I wash my face anyways when I'm done. But this I feel like helps so that I don't have that redness from trying to scrub the makeup wipes around my face and it works probably better around my eyes. It doesn't hurt as much. Um, not that the wipes hurt my eyes, but I feel like it's a little safer on my eyes. Um, and I can get this anywhere. I think you can get it at Target, CVS, Walgreens, really anywhere that L'Oreal products are sold. And I also love it because I feel like it does a better job at cleansing where the wipes, I feel like sometimes if you have, not that I wear like a ton of makeup on my face, but I feel like it kind of just like rubs it around and I have to use multiples of these to get especially the foundation off when it's been sitting for so long. Whereas this, I feel like does a better job at actually deep cleansing on my skin, which is really good for me. So I highly recommend this beauty here. So this product here is the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. It's sort of like a, let's say sort of like a toner, but it's more of a hydration spray, I guess you can say. Um, what I do is usually before I apply my makeup, if I'm having like a really, really dry day, I'll spray this on my face, wet my foundation brush, and then put the foundation on. I won't blot this in, I'll just let it sit on my face and it really helps hydrate my skin before I put makeup on. Sometimes I'll even use it if I'm not even wearing any type of makeup. But I really love it because it gives a lot of hydration in just a little bit of amount. 
And the whole Rainforest of the Sea collection is really good because it just, it's like a hydrating collection, I guess you could say. Um, they also have the under eye patches, which I don't have with me, um, but I will insert a picture of it. Um, they go under the eyes. I really love wearing them, especially if I haven't gotten a lot of sleep and I have a lot to do the next day or if I have a flight to catch. I just place them under my eyes and I feel like it kind of brings my face back to life, which is perfect for me, as well as this here. Um, I think you can get it at Ulta or even just online. And I don't think it was terribly expensive, but again, I will link it down below. So next, I just have to mention these real quick. These are the Kitty Australia Desi Collection sunglasses. I'm showing these because she actually has a mini version of the like ginormous key sunglasses um, that I've been wanting forever since she first started came, coming out with them but they don't fit my face properly, so she finally did a mini collection with um, all the same uh, line that she had before, just obviously smaller. I absolutely love these sunglasses. They fit my face perfectly because I have such a hard time finding sunglasses that actually fit me, and I found them. So I just had to mention those real quick because they look totally badass, and, you know, why not? So my last favorite thing of 2017 is not actually a makeup or beauty product. It is a tattoo and it is this little beauty right here. It is an arrow with a semicolon, semicolon straight through it. Um, if you know what it means, then you know why I got it. It is basically a symbol of um, people who struggle with mental health. Um, I've had depression for several years. I'm not ashamed of it. I freely and openly talk about it um, as, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I decided to get this because it basically reminds me to keep on going and to keep following through and to never give up and keep staying strong, which has always been a struggle, but, you know, for the last few years I've been very happy. I still struggle every now and then, but, you know, that's life, it's always gonna happen. Um, which kind of brings me to my next favorite thing of 2017, last but not least, is YouTube. I decided to just bite the bullet and go for it and try it out, and I have absolutely loved doing it. I love making content, I love trying something new, and kind of bringing myself outside of the box um, and to keep on going and to follow through. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy this just as much as I love doing it. I've learned to kind of stop looking at the numbers and to just focus on having fun and making it what it is and stop comparing myself to everybody else because I am my own person and I am just me. After all, it is me, Emily. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and have probably found some new products to try out in 2018. Um, I hope everybody's year is amazing and beautiful and wonderful and hopefully you haven't um, failed those New Year's resolutions just yet. We still have a few more weeks to go before we can, you know, drop that workout plan that we started. Um, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to give it a thumbs up, comment down below any questions that you may have, and do not forget to subscribe to see more content because I promise you 2018 for me will be a very busy and hectic year and I plan on getting up so many videos because I'm just getting started. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.